fall in the hole. How do you guys lay it down in there? Oh, me <laughs> Would any of you like to put some seam on, some tobacco down in the hole? Just take a little pinch. Bungie, have to. Yeah, you can put some of that down in there. Hmm? Okay. There's enough for everybody. There you go. Here you go. Here's a little shishigan of it. Just a little bit. <laughs> 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 Good. <laughs> I try to connect with those plants. And when I try to connect with those plants, if I want to collect a plant, what did you hear earlier? We heard that you need to honor the spirit of those plants. What are you going to choose to honor them? You can use your words. You can use songs, or you can use that um, that gift that sits in the eastern part of the medicine wheel. Um, we might have heard it earlier, that ninsema. Ninsema. Um, this is that Nicotiana rustica, or that ninsema that that I grow. That and and I you know I have seed here, seed pods, little shishi guns, um, little rattle. That you know if some of you wanted to grow your own. It, you could use some of that tobacco for offering instead of, you know, our tobacco from the store. That's a different species. It used to be our Anishinaabe tobacco, but it's been cultivated, investigated, and chemically treated, and all these complex things. But the reason that we use that Ninsema is that if you listen to those stories, or if you believe and understand that medicine wheel, what is it here? It was put down on earth. Its role, its obligation was to help the human people, the Anishinaabe people, but I would guess it all people, to be an offering plant. It was an appropriate gesture to be able to offer to, to the water, to the sky, to the earth mothers, you know, to a plant, to a person. As I am asking something of you, but I don't have much. I could offer my flesh. I could offer my, my thanks. I could offer my words. And all those are very valuable. But this is another one of those roles. And a couple things that I'll say that I, I, what I want to do is I want to make sure you realize that if you felt like there's no way I could be where Earl is. There's no way I could have the connection that he was talking about. There is a way. You know, I found that even though that connection that I have, sometimes it comes and goes. We have it strong and then we neglect it and it kind of goes away. I mean, I'm a more Jagannash than an Anishinaabe person, right? I mean, that I, my blood, if that matters, has more you know, European than Indian ancestry. My heart and my spirit and who I am is a product of what path I walk. If I choose to walk from Mino Bamadizu on a good road, then those things will come to us. And so what I find that, that I learned from some of our elders was things that if I'm going to come and I'm going to offer that same, um, just same as what you said. You know, this old elder, and I'll mention his name and now that he's passed on, um, some of you may have known of him, was an excellent healer himself um, from the tip of the mitt. Um, Pine Showman spent a lot of time with him and his, his late wife Vivian, and um, Vivian was a sweetgrass collector. She was also the one that, that found another plant that I have over here that I'll show you that if you drink, if you eat that ice cream, maybe you can take some of this <laughs> plant to keep from uh, having to run to the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> counterbalance that. <laughs> Is that Pine would say, you go and you um, <coughs> offer that tobacco, you come carrying it in your left hand, right? Mm -hmm. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. We could cut us open right now and look at where our heart is. It is closer to the heart. But in addition to that, um, when we come walking with our tobacco, you know, maybe we'll sit, share that song, you know, come walking with my tobacco. Um, and we offer that. What I was told to uh, say is that you, you know, you find that elder in that plant community, but it also could be an elder in that rock community. Which one stands out, or that tree, or that animal? And then, you know, in this case, it's like, 
we would say, if we're going to pluck one of those, is talking and communicating to that plant. You're not crazy. You're being a respectful human being when you go, you know, you might say bojou, you might say hello if you don't want to speak Indian. You might say, mina muskeke etta, nui dap nam, in Ojibwa or no doubt. That good medicine only, mino muskeke etta. Only is etta, right? Nui dap nam, I want to collect, I want to gather. It's that same idea as saying, I know that this ninsei ma has good and bad in it. I know it has power, it has energy. And I realize that if I collect it, but without asking for what I'm gonna get, I might get the good, I might get the bad. And if I'm trying to offer this as medicine to somebody, or as a gift for somebody, I don't wanna give them the bad medicine. But most of us don't practice that anymore. This helps it to keep it from getting root bound so that it will spread out. Do you smell that medicine? Yeah. You guys smell that? That's good.